Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in John chapter 8, beginning in verse 32, and it goes like this. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. A church visitor asked the pastor, can I request prayer? And sure, what, what you need prayer for, he asked. This lady said, my, my cousin died last week, and I uh, pray that God will guide him in his afterlife. And uh, the pastor, he just, whoa, he, he was taken back, and he, he thought for a minute. He said, uh, let me ask you a question. Suppose you're taking an exam. Should you pray before the exam or after the exam? And uh, she said, well, obviously, before the exam. He said, that's right. You see, when we pray for after an exam, it's, it's like you're asking God to change the grades. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not possible because God is faithful. He's faithful. And, you know, he can't deceive the results, no. When we die, the exam is over. Life's exam is completely over with then once we take our last breath. And, and what, there's no way anyone can change our destiny. Nuh-uh. Hebrews uh, 9 and 27 tells us that once we die, then the judgment. That means no second chance. Uh, you know... Sorry, <laughs> for, I, I feel sorry for your relative if that's the way you believe, because he can no longer be prayed for. No, it's already said and done. People need to understand that they have to accept the gospel of Jesus Christ before they die, not after. Uh -uh. No, you have to accept Jesus in your heart uh, let him take over your life before you die. Now, there's a lot of deathbed confessions, and they ask the Lord to come into their heart. And I've seen this many times. And yes, the Lord will accept him because he's still alive. But once you draw your last breath, there is no second chance, none whatsoever. So I hope and pray that each one of you out there today has already made plans for your future. Yes, for that final exam. That's right. Because once you take that last breath, the examination is over. Well, may God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. Yep, he died on that cross for us. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.